31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. Hot, hot, hot. Yes, hot over the weekend. And yep. is that trend going to continue throughout the week? Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had some better news. <laughs> uh, the humidity did drop off a little bit here through the afternoon hours. If you were watching uh, morning meteorologist Grace Anello this morning, she was talking about how humid it was. First thing this morning, some drier air has yeah. filtered on in. But don't expect that to be something that sticks around as well. In fact, by the weekend, it's going to be quite steamy again. Uh, let's talk, though, about our next weather maker. This is something you've not heard me utter what much here as of late, and that is a chance for rainfall. That is going to be arriving in advance of a, and I'll put this in air quotes, cold front <laughs> will be arriving middle of this week. It's not going to change our temperature, hardly anything at all. Uh, but what it will help to do is generate a few showers and thunderstorms. So that is some good news. We need some rainfall at this point. Some of you, but not everyone, will see it. And at this point in time, does not look like anything severe to be concerned about. Right now, Way 31 Triple Doppler is uh, showing dry weather out there for your Monday afternoon. It's turned out to be a hot, but overall a decent afternoon. Skies are mostly clear and future radar says they'll stay Stay that way this evening and on through tonight uh, because we have dried the air just a little bit this afternoon. Temperatures will steadily cool as we take you through the evening and the overnight hours and by tomorrow morning won't feel too bad out the door starting off in the upper 60s to around 70 in most areas. From there though we are going to heat up quickly thanks to that strong June sun beating down on us. Noontime tomorrow, we're mainly sunny. We'll keep it mainly sunny through tomorrow afternoon, and it's going to be another hot one for your Tuesday. We head into your Wednesday morning. Not much changes, still mostly clear, but with the approach of that cold front Wednesday afternoon, some clouds build up. Here we go around 2 o'clock, a little round of showers heading into the shoals, parts of southern middle Tennessee, and these will continue to develop east as we take you through the late afternoon and at least lingering through some of the evening hours before we start to see those rain chances begin to taper off heading into your Tuesday night. Again, not expecting anything severe out of this. The closest that gets to us, parts of western and northern Tennessee on Wednesday, where there is a level one risk on our scale of one to five, but notice that does not include any of North Alabama or the parts of southern middle Tennessee that are part of our coverage area. But we'll keep an eye on that for you. Mostly just would be a summertime downpour that we could expect out of some of those showers and storms for midweek. We drop to 70 tonight in Huntsville. We will dip into the 60s in Decatur, Scottsboro, Fort Payne. Not bad there, starting off low 60s tomorrow. Muscle Shoals, you'll be running a little closer to the 70 degree mark. Tomorrow will be a good pool day because we are going to have the heat building back in very quickly. By 10 o'clock in the morning, already in the upper 80s, 92 at the noon hour. Mid and upper 90s look to be a pretty good bet through tomorrow afternoon. Wind will be fairly light and variable. And with plenty of sunshine out there, once again, don't forget to slap on the sunscreen if you're going to be spending any sort of appreciable time outdoors tomorrow. These are our expected highs. And once again, we'll be close to seeing 100, just like we were in a few spots this afternoon. We'll go 99 for Scottsboro. Huntsville, as well as Muscle Shoals, 97 Moulton and Decatur, 95 in Fayetteville, and around 94 tomorrow afternoon in Guntersville. Here's a look at your Way 31 Storm Tracker 10 day. Got the rain chance Wednesday. Again, it's not super impressive, but at least it's something. 30%, 96 for the high. The temperature drops a hair behind that front on Thursday. Again, there's not going to be much change for us. 93 degrees for that high temperature, and then we're right back up there again heading into the weekend. 96 Friday, 96 on Saturday as well. Maybe a little bit of weekend shower activity, but again, those rain chances uh, don't really impress me much, uh, but they will be there over the weekend, perhaps a little bit more next week. Otherwise, the one consistent temperatures above the 90 degree mark this time next week, maybe back into that upper end of the 90s. Notice the overnight lows as well. By the weekend and next week, mid upper 70s, mm -hmm. maybe as much as it cools off at night. And it's possible by the weekend with some higher humidity back in here, uh, perhaps the first heat advisories oh. of the summer season coming mm -hmm. up for that time frame. So we'll be keeping an eye on that and letting you know if that is something that'll be a concern. We'll take any kind of rain we can get, though, so we're not going to be begging and choosing and complaining about the humidity too much. Yeah, but that rain will be nice to see. It'll help bring the temperature down uh, for those that see it as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Jeff, thanks. Uh -huh. no